What up, bitches? It's a misanthropic one, a.k.a. He Who Hungers. And I'm back up in this bitch for another rant. So, finally, uh, Jelaine Maxwell has been apprehended. For those who don't know who that is, I mean, you should. Um, this is kind of big news. But uh, for those who don't know who that is, uh, Jelaine Maxwell um, is the alleged procurer for uh, Jeffrey Epstein. And we all know the Jeffrey Epstein story. We all know Jeffrey Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this this chick has been on the run for like, I would say, ever since um, Jeffrey Epstein was caught last year. She disappeared to like uh, Connecticut, uh, was seen in uh, Paris, New Hampshire. I mean, it's just weird. It's a weird story, but um, a procurer, for those that don't know, is essentially a person who um, facilitates uh, prostitution between the 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 trick or the 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 chick, I should say, and the uh, the person. And in this case, you know, it was all like underage girls and. It, I don't even want to go back into it, but she was the one who basically found these women and, you know, uh, set these uh, powerful people up. Now, she's apprehended, and um, I say let's have a little bit of fun with this because we all know what happened to Jeffrey Epstein. Um, again, he did not kill himself, and um, I want to do a, a, a death pool or a dead pool, whatever you want to call it. I say, let's have fun. I mean, you know what? I honestly, I want her to stay alive long enough for her to spill the beans, if you know what I'm saying. Because like Jeffrey Epstein, she has a lot of knowledge of what went on on, on that island. She has way too much knowledge, but that's what makes her dangerous. So I'm trying to be somewhat realistic here. Like, I, I don't think she's going to make it. Um, so like a lot of us were predicting with, um, Jeffrey Epstein, um, this time, you know, I want to jump forward and make a video about it. I want to sit and, and have fun. And I, I really don't care about this woman because if she is involved with that bullshit, you know, she could go fuck herself. You know what I mean? But let's have fun. So. I want to know what you guys think, how you think she's going to go, what's the time period, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know a lot of y'all, some of y'all on the other side of the world and whatnot, so we can't make like a money bet out of this, but <laughs> let's just do like a friendly thing, you know what I mean? Um, so I say, for me personally, I say I give her a month, today is uh, July 2nd, I say within a month, um... And I'm going to say she's going to go out um, either the same way Jeffrey Epstein went out by uh, strangulation or quote unquote hanging himself herself um, because she is being held right now. I think at the same place that Jeffrey Epstein <laughs> was was staying at. So I'm going to say she's either either going to go out that way. She's going to go out by quote unquote heart attack or she's going to be poisoned um or to cover it up just for me to do a, bl a cover all because i really want to win this <laughs> they're gonna say oh she had the she had uh the wuhan virus <laughs> so um yo let's have fun man uh share this around you know Put it on social media, Twitter, whatever. I want to know what everybody thinks. I want to know how you think this chick is going to go out. And I want to know what you think of the time limit. What What's the time frame we got, all right? Let's have fun, all right? And overall, I really want her to stay alive so she could flip the world upside down and expose all these assholes. But that's a whole nother video. Love you guys. Um, Y'all know the deal. Leave your love. Leave your hate. Most of all, subscribe. Please like, comment, share my shit. Um, share it all over the place to fight censorship and the YouTube algorithm. And that's it. Peace, bitches.